Since the Cybersio Pro plugin integrates with three AI services, OpenAI GPT-4, Google Gemini Pro, and Anthropic Claude, let's compare their capabilities in action. We'll generate a couple of extensive articles using each of them and then compare the results. Let's include topics for our articles. In this instance, each line will consist of an article title and a single tag that determines its theme. Let's set up the CSV dump format. We will generate both articles simultaneously for each service. Here are our shortcodes. The first one instructs Stable Diffusion Excel to generate an image for the article, using its tag as the theme. Next, we have the main shortcode, which generates an article consisting of five text sections based on the title from our CSV dump. By default, this shortcode uses OpenAI GPT for Turbo. Here we also instruct GPT on the style in which the entire article should be written and which HTML tags we allow it to use in the text. Additionally, we provide it with specific guidelines for creating individual text sections. Detailed documentation on the format of shortcodes and their parameters is available on the website cyberco.net. Let's add GPT for to the titles of the generated articles for identification during subsequent analysis. Now we can generate the first pair of articles using GPT-4. Now we will make changes to our shortcode. For the next test, we'll use Anthropic Claude, keeping all other shortcode parameters unchanged. Now we'll tag the titles of the generated articles with the word Claude. Let's generate the next pair of our articles. Now it's time for Google Gemini Pro. We are still keeping our text prompt unchanged for the consistency of the experiment. Although it's important to note that prompts for each specific model we're using may require an individual approach and finer tuning. And again, we label the titles of the generated articles with the name of the selected model. Let's generate the final version of our articles. It's time to compare the results. Here are all six versions of our articles, each generated using one of the three AI models. In front of us is the first article about space innovations, generated using Google Gemini. Pay attention to the quality of the content and its HTML structure. There's no rich HTML formatting visible yet, but perhaps this particular article doesn't require it. Let's look at the next article, created using Gemini Pro, on the topic of strategies for remote business. This time, we see that the AI model has used bold font and bullet lists. Let's see what article Anthropic Claude has created for us.
And again, as with Gemini, we do not observe rich HTML markup in the article about space innovations. Let's evaluate another article created by Claude. In the second article, Anthropic Claude used bullet lists. It's also worth noting that the sizes of the text sections are clearly shorter than in the case of Google Gemini Pro. It's time to look at the article about technological innovations in space, created using OpenAI GPT for Turbo. Now it becomes clear that all three AI models we used decided not to use extended HTML formatting in the article about space technologies. Quite an amusing consensus. And here's the final article about remote business, automatically generated using OpenAI GPT for Turbo. This time, we see not only the use of bold font and bullet lists but also the application of block quotes. Additionally, the size of the text sections has clearly increased compared to those generated by Anthropic Claude. So, we've compared the three most popular AI models integrated with the Cybersio Pro plugin, using two articles generated with the same prompt as examples. Perhaps this comparison will help you choose the model that best suits your purposes.